I don't need any of these books. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Melinda, plain and simple. I've been telling you guys that I still have a lot of books to go through. Several boxes of books that are stored away in the closet in our spare bedroom. Well, this is where they are. And so today it is time for me to go through yet another one of these boxes. So if you have any books or anything else that you want to go through today, grab your stuff and come on and we'll do it together. Uh, this one says miscellaneous which means it could have a variety of things in it. I'm guessing that these two must be mysteries because there's nothing written on the box. Or it could just be that I didn't label them, which is more likely the case. Um, I could pick that one, but we did that kind last time. So I think I'm going to go with this one since it's miscellaneous. And I could use with a little variety in my life right now. What about you? Anyway, have you got your stuff yet? Okay, let's get started. Well, I peeked inside here, and um, I'm not ready to let go of these books yet. So, we're not going to do that one yet. That's okay. Well, let's go back over here. We've got plenty to choose from. So, how about we go for one of these mystery ones? Um, let's go for this one. Maybe we can clear out this top level first. So, let me get this one out. And we'll see what's inside there. Well, I can already tell that I have at least one book in here that I can let go of. So, we'll go through this box. The first thing I see right here is this book by Delilah. I do want to read that, so I'm going to hang on to that one. I'm not going to read it right away, but I do want to read it. Um, this one, The Stately Ghost of England, I'm not, probably not going to read that. So, that can go. And I'm not going to read this one. It's a cute little book, um, but I'm, I'm not going to read it, so it can go. Uh, this one is a writer's handbook. I'm going to hang on to that. This book, actually, there's a couple of them here. I'm going to keep them. And let's see, this one, Elizabeth Berg. We are all welcome here. It's a novel, um, but you know... I have a lot of novels and books that I've kept already to read, and I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to go ahead and let that one go. If I did, decided I wanted to read it, I'm sure I could find it at the library. Um, this is another writing book, so I'm going to hang on to that one. And this one... Um, I read this one. I remember reading this one. I don't remember what it was about. But it's written in the form of a poem. Um, it's a story, um, I'm not going to read it again, so I'm going to go ahead and let it go. Uh, this one is called Wishworks Inc. Oh, it's got some cute little pictures in it. Um, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to read it. Uh, Spinning Through the Universe, a novel in poems. Okay, here's the thing with me. I, I like poetry, but... I don't, I'm not really a big fan of novels or, you know, as books, just like that one. It's a story written in the form of a poem. It's not my favorite thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and let it go. I don't think I read that. I may have tried, but I don't remember reading it all the way through. Um, this one is editing. So I'm going to keep that one. This one is a novel. Um, but again, I just, um, I don't know. I've kept so many novels, and I'm just not thinking I'm going to read that one. So it can go. Let's see if we can pull these over here. Um, this looks like it'd be a cute little book for maybe passing along to kids. <laughs> I don't know. Um. It's hard to even open with one hand so it can go. And this one, I'm not going to read. This one, I don't think either. Yeah, it can go. It's called Story Time. And here are a couple little pamphlets about leadership. Um, this one is Why? Because we still love you. It is all about the Mickey Mouse Club. I was probably going to read it, you know, but... I didn't. I liked the Mickey Mouse Club. I was really little when it was on, but um, 
I did, you know, like Annette and all those, but I'm not going to read it. I've bought books before that are about things or biographies or autobiographies. And you know what? I, I maybe have read one. <laughs> I buy them thinking that I will read them and then I don't. Um, this one, um, it looks like it's been around a while. Look at how yellowy the pages are. I've got a receipt here. Let me see what year that was. This was from 2016. So, um, it's a very thick book and it doesn't have really big writing and I'm just not feeling it so it can go. And then here's Brave Girls Holy Bible. So I think that this might be a good one just to pass along to maybe a teenager or a young, maybe just a, a maybe what they call them, a tween, one of those uh, younger girls. Maybe maybe somebody would enjoy that. Oh, this one. You, do you guys remember these? Childcraft. Um, they, it has some really cool pictures in here. It looks like maybe poetry, so we won't look too much because we might get, you know, dinged with the commenting, but I'll be keeping that one because I like the pictures. Um, this one has The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, Rip Van Winkle, and The Spectre Bridegroom. Um, I don't know if I've read The Spectre Bridegroom, but I know I've read the other two. I think I'm just going to go ahead and let it go. It is kind of a cool cover, but I don't think I need to keep it. I'm trying to cut back. <laughs> I would keep all of them if it was, you know, if I just, you know, didn't need to pare down and everything, you know, I'd just keep all my books. But I, I know I need to not do that. Let's figure this is heavy. Okay. Um, this one is line by line, how to edit your own writing, keeping that. Creating poetry. You know, I don't really do it much by the book. <laughs> I just do what comes natural to me. But for the moment, I'm going to keep them. Because sometimes I get into a mood where it's like, you know what? I want to write something a little different. I want to find a new style just to challenge myself. And so I'll get out a poetry book or I'll get out something like this and just look for something to challenge me. I have not done that for a while. Um, but when I get, you know, through more of my decluttering and get back to more poetry writing, I might want to do that. So I'm going to hang on to those. Now, these three things underneath here are probably going to get me dinged. <laughs> But we're going to do it. <laughs> okay. So this one is a giant coloring and activity book. It's got pictures in it. Uh, but I do not need to need keep it. See, that's what it looks like. You know, that's the one they're going to see, right? But we're going to let that one go. This one, I kind of like it. And so I, it has the bigger pictures. I'm going to keep that one. And then this one, I'm sorry, I really am not showing you them very much because, you know, if you've been watching my channel, you know what happens. But anyway, here's this one. And... It has these kind of pictures, and so we are going to let that one go. No, oh, okay, so sorry, I can't really show you those very well. I'm hoping that they won't get me dinged as it is, but we're going to go on. <laughs> uh, okay, so, and I know other channels, it does not happen. I am fully aware that it does not happen. It's only some of us that it happens to, um, but we're not crazy. It really is happening, <laughs> so. What are you going to do? You just keep on going. Um, and this one is Uncommon Writing Exercises that Transform Your Fiction. Well, you know, maybe I might want that one. So I'm going to hang on to that. This one is Little Women. And um, I like the pictures. And so I'm going to keep that one. Yeah, we're going to keep that one. This one is Medieval Tales. Um... Uh, what are medieval tales? What exactly? Um, the wolf, Robin Hood. Um, I don't know. I know Robin Hood. That's the sword and the stone. I don't know the rest of those. Um, I think this would be a book that I would keep, read, and then pass along. So I'll keep it for now, but we'll pass it along. This one is Fables of Leonardo da Vinci. Did you know that Leonardo da Vinci had fables? So there's these little stories and some pictures. Okay. Um, I think that'll be another one. I'm going to, I'll keep it, read it, and then decide if I want to keep it long term or pass it along. And again, hopefully that doesn't get me dinged. So let me separate all this out. We'll see what I've got going and what I've got staying. I decided to stack these books up 
just out of curiosity, it just happened that I'm about half and half on how many I'm keeping and letting go of, not just in number, but in height. So that's pretty cool. Let me know if you did some book decluttering. How did yours turn out? I'm happy with mine. Until next time, I'll say happy decluttering. Bye. I have lots of books, too many to name. I love them, each one, but not all the same. Some I like more, some I like less, some I will keep, I'll let go of the rest. They're filled with adventure and morals and hope. They teach about life and how we can cope. They color our dreams, they show us what's true, they give us direction so we know what to do. Cover to cover, page after page, I'll always read books, no matter my age. Picture books, novels, the Bible, and more. They never stop giving us ways to explore. What you doing, Pumpkin? Yeah? Are you going to declutter some stuff? Yeah. <laughs>